and the tree hugger. Ready? Watch me do my moves. That's my vibe. Well, my vibe is watching chronically narcissistic, desperately unself-aware wannabe hippies make the worst attempt in an apology video I've ever seen. So I, uh, I guess I'm in the right place. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. Beautiful people. Hello. People. My name is Amanda, the face behind Art Van Gogh and the Seed of Conscious Community. You might remember a week or two ago, we covered the Home Depot girl nuclear meltdown. Here is the video if you want to get up to speed. Yeah, this um, positive vibes only van life chick flew off the handle and tried to get a couple of people fired and then completely self-owned by posting the whole thing to her Instagram story, where she did a detailed breakdown of her xenophobic rant for us, recapping how she was telling one of the guys to go back to his country. Easily one of the most unlikable people I've seen online in a while. I just wanted to take a moment and reflect as it has been a really wild last week or so for me. Well, God be praised, she recently uploaded her apology video on YouTube, as is tradition when you get murked by doing something stupid online. And let me tell you, it is Hall of Fame caliber bad. It's 22 minutes long, which is an impossible length of time to listen to this broad, so I'm sacrificing my brain cells to offer you guys an abridged version with a little bit of commentary that covers the key points. Let's get into it. I wanted to first say um, I would like to take full accountability for my words and oh, nice. i want to apologize from the bottom of my heart for the words that i said that triggered each and every one of you in the ways that it triggered you in a positive negative or in between style of way i sincerely apologize that the words that i said triggered you in a positive way or a negative or in between way if you're a pussy <laughs> i sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that my words and my expression in that moment had triggered so many of you I mean, I've seen a lot of deflections and half-assed apologies in my day, but this right out of the gates is on another planet. I'm so sorry that you were triggered by my expression of self. I was being harassed by two men prior to the videos that I posted at my free will, and that was the eighth guy in two months to harass me. I'm not gonna pretend like there aren't shitty guys out there, but from what it sounds like, eight guys in like two, it sounds like the common denominator might be you. And when you say harass, you might just mean they're checking your entitlement just a little bit. I apologize sincerely that every one of you that was triggered by my words have never experienced something like I've experienced before. So you have no idea what it's like to walk a day in my shoes. <laughs> Woo! At least we know she's being sincere. Sincerely. That every one of you that was triggered have never experienced something like I've experienced before. Sincerely shitty. Like if you asked me to write a satirical apology and to make it as inauthentic as possible. In a team full of writers, I could not come up with a bit this glorious. I'm sorry that you pussies got triggered by what I said, because you've never had to go and buy something from Home Depot like I did. I have no idea what it's like to walk a day in my shoes. So I apologize that y'all have not experienced my experience personally to be able to resonate and understand and empathize and sympathize. And I am saying to each and every one of you, I apologize for my words. I apologize that my words had triggered you. You just gotta learn to stop, Amanda. Keep the mouth shut. All you had to do after saying, I apologize for my words, boom, be done right there. Say, oh, I'll try it. I'll try to be less of a shit bag. Done. Two minute video, you're on to the next. People won't fucking think anything of it. But no, you couldn't help yourself. You had to keep going. I apologize that you reacted the way you did because you've never experienced what I've gone through. You gotta miss me with that bullshit. This is a masterclass on how to apologize without actually apologizing. I hope that one day you can empathize with what I've been through and forgive me for the words that I said that triggered you so harshly. Listen. I empathize. I go to Home Depot all the time. I know how difficult it can be to find somebody that knows where to find a quarter inch lug nut. There's like 60 aisles, 300 bays. It's impossible to find anything. And for them to have the audacity to not offer you a full refund on any money you've ever spent there after you went on a xenophobic tirade, unthinkable of them. You don't want any more customer. You need to leave. Oh, I'm not a customer? You're not so customer. So when I want my thousands store. of dollars, I spend here back every day. No, leave. Leave. Uh, what? Just I can only imagine how difficult that must have been for you. I just wanted to shine a little bit of light onto something that I am personally going through. And this does not justify my actions by any means. Isn't that what you're trying to do, though? It's, it's, it's... But I just want to let you know, I personally am going through a lot. I have a lot on my plate. Oh, you have a lot on your plate. Oh my God, you should. Why didn't you lead with that? You have a lot on your fuck. You have a lot on your fucking plate. Holy shit! Oh, well, in that case, welcome to being alive. Bitch. I'm diagnosed with PTSD, severe PTSD. Through the last year and a half of intense therapies, I am actually diagnosed with complex PTSD. Mm, complex, um, I will be complex, working with a brand new wellness team. 
and they will make sure that I have the programs, the guidance, and the tools that I need in order to not wind up in a situation like I put myself in with the Home Depot situation. Shopping in a retail store? Sheesh, it's going to be tough to go through life avoiding that kind of situation. I can't forget to stop at CVS and pick up a little toothpaste on the way home. Shit. But what if I go on a racist tirade again because they won't honor my three-year-old 25% off coupon? Shoot. Yeah, fuck it. I'm a fake hippie. I don't need to brush my teeth anyways. In your heart, the forgiveness to forgive me and put this in the past, you do not have to forget. Never forget. <laughs> Literally. Never forget. I'm not asking you to forget about Wait, the words that I said. I'm not asking... Did she just compare her Home Depot meltdown to 9-11? Is that what I just saw? Literally. Never forget. <laughs> Dude, she, she, she should come out with a never forget merch line. And it's just like a picture of her in a Home Depot with a date, July 14th. Never forget. <gasps> Brings a tear to my eye. Lost a lot of good brain cells that day. <laughs> oh, the self-importance is just staggering. And while also simultaneously speaking up for myself, I'm being belittled. I'm being shamed. I have death threats coming my way. I have hate crimes coming at me. Is this the world y'all want to live in? Listen, when you put yourself willingly on the internet, you can expect to get criticism when you act as out of line as you did. But I never condone people sending hate crimes over the internet. What? This is a serious cricket moment here. Is this the world y'all want to live in? Telling people with PTSD who were triggered by an abusive situation, whom were triggered by another person harassing them. Sexually harassing, I may add. So she spends a few minutes now essentially saying, but my PTSD made me do it. You really want to get mad at someone for having PTSD and then talks about the Home Depot employees again and how they were sex sexually harassing her by calling her the C word, which I didn't, I don't know how that equates. Like if I call my boy a pussy because he cried while we were watching the Titanic together, naked does that make is that sexual harassment come on i just really hope that you can find in your heart a little bit of blood for it to beat hold on a sec no still sounds like mostly cholesterol and vodka coursing through there so she then name drops her therapist for some reason and then uses her therapy as some sort of validation as she tries to turn this into an empowerment story about an abuse victim finally standing up for herself. This is what she always says to me, my therapist. And she was in the Navy, too. She said, it sounds like you're taking one for the team. And then usually says, it sounds to me like you're a woman who's been abused her entire life. And you're using your voice to stand up for yourself for the first time. Really a valiant effort at a narrative spin, honestly. It kind of plays like a low-budget Netflix movie, so maybe it'll work. Time will tell. It's because I'm different than my family history. I'm the tree hugger. That's my vibe. No more bigotry. No more trying to get people fired over my own lack of self-control. Just trees and vibes. Just remember your words are your spell. Whatever comes back to you, whatever you say to me will come back to you times 10. I'm actually fine with that because I just want for you to be less of an insufferable ass, which I'd like for myself as well. So I'll happily take the 10x power boost. No, I don't dabble in that world. I'm all love and light. I am highly protected and guided, both in this physical reality and in the spiritual reality. <laughs> Lol. This is my apology to you. I'm going to go continue to do what I do best, and that's live in the 5D reality, not in the 3D reality of hate and harm and hate crimes and hurtfulness and no accountability, right? I don't live in that 3D reality. I live in the 5D reality. I hang out with the trees. I ground every morning. I do meditation. I literally eat the plants off the ground. That's what I do. I live in this 5D reality. And unfortunately, all I can do for my 5D reality through this screen to you and your 3D reality is take a- Yeah, you are already well past the point. You should have shut the camera down, but you are now sprinting at neck breaking speed into shut the fuck up, Phil. Oh my God. This spiraled so quickly from being one of the weakest apologies I've seen on YouTube into her demeaning us for being stuck in 3D while she's playing 5D chess, eating plants, and being blind to the haters. Ask you for forgiveness and tell you I hope you never forget anything that had happened. Never forget Home Depot 714. And I really, really hope that y'all can find forgiveness within yourselves to forgive yourselves for your past lives, forgive yourselves for all the things you have done, forgive yourself for all the hurt and hateful things that you have sent my way. 
And then, when you're done forgiving yourself because forgiveness starts with you, hug yourself out. I do it all the time. Hug yourself out and forgive yourself. You're stuck in 3D. Forgive them for getting trapped. Never forget. Express. Start love. forgiving yourself. It's not love. your fault. It's They're their worthless. Fault. You mean everything to this world. <laughs> so she spends the next few minutes trying to be our therapist and telling us how to be kinder and more forgiving. Um, top tier entertainment, honestly. But I forgive myself and my memory is sharp as a fucking whip. So I will never forget all of the things. That's the coolest part about PTSD. Your memories are razor sharp. And uh, I really haven't found too many bad things about it so far. I don't know. Okay. Well, if you love PTSD so much, maybe you should stop blaming it for being such an insufferable dick. I really hope that you can find the courage with every ounce of your body to forgive yourself and take accountability for every action you others. And then look at that. Never do it. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Man, this is this is taking a long time to say I'm sorry for being shitty. I don't. It's, it's like one sentence. So I don't know. Wow. Yikes. So she spends the next few minutes recounting some familial trauma she's had in her life. Um, might I suggest just not oversharing all of this shit on the internet, especially during what's supposed to be an apology video. Then miraculously, she manages to once again fit in a humble brag about her forensics degree and how smart she is. <laughs> I would have really preferred if y'all did your research before you blew me up, right? So here's the thing. Did y'all research my degree? I'll let you know. Graduated top of my class, forensics and investigative science with a minor in sociology, criminology, emphasis on child delinquency and the prison system. I studied human behavior and crime. Graduated top of my class of 35. At the time it was number one in the country and now it is number two in the world, West Virginia University forensics program. I know y'all don't think that I'm really smart because I don't look like I'm really smart and I sound like I'm a chipmunk like Alvin, right? Kind of look like I'm chilling too, right? I do hang out with the chipmunks around here. They eat on my hand, so do the deer. Interesting. Animals only eat out of humans' hands who have good energy, but here y'all are shit talking me. It's okay. Not my reality, right? Mayday, Mayday, we are careening out of control. We are now talking about a chipmunk eating out of someone's hand as a measure of their worth. Mayday! So I'm gonna go keep doing my love based things. Y'all keep disintegrating yourself in your fear based reality, right? I just wanted to hop in here and uh, bridge the gap um, and, and just uh, let y'all know if you wanna keep sending messages my way, that's okay. Forensics is already on it. Karma's a bitch. And I heard she's a Virgo. And Virgo season is coming up really soon. I got a blast. Peace out. Hey, town down. Boop, 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 boop. Just kidding. Stay sexy, friends, and keep wandering. Absolutely Hall of Fame qualifying apology video. To start out with, hi, beautiful people, super sweet and innocent. I sincerely apologize that you were triggered over my self-expression. Then like 20 minutes of nonsense. Then turns the heat up at the end with the keep talking shit haters, see what happens. I got a 100K forensics degree. FBI's already on it. Wait and see what happens. Get clapped, bitch. Get wrecked. You are a perfect example of why the dislike button should still exist. I think that sums up quite nicely what I just watched. And I think this apology video deserves a little tap with the brain worms bat. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If there's one thing you do before you go, please squat down and smother that subscribe button with the length of your tape. I would appreciate that greatly. See you soon. Peace.